Welcome back everybody. Here we've got an explanation of these amulets. I was just about to do this explanation anyway and this pop-up came up, so there are four amulet types with a great number of amulets in each one. Collect them. They are very valuable in many ways. Many meaning they give you more experience and that's the only way. Also their achievements, so yeah. By now you probably have most or even all of the novice amulets. I don't have all of them. They give you a small XP reward, a really freaking small one, for doing basic tasks to get more familiar with adventuring in the labyrinth. Not like things like that to just teach you the basics. This game's really good at doing that. Battle amulets can be earned during battles. We've got a bunch of those. And give you experience to the experience multiplier. Well, they give you a bonus to the experience multiplier at the end of the battle. Journey amulets can be completed more difficult tasks or by reaching a high value for one of your stats over time. They can give you lots of experience as well as skill points. The toughest to earn but most rewarding are the challenge amulets. You have to reach a high level to get and get many skill points to even have a slight chance of getting one of these. So let's take a peek at these. These are just things you do during a single battle, like you know, build lots of shrines, kill lots of stuff, and you get a little bit of an experience multiplier. So those are a nice bonus. The novice things, I have half of them. Um, I thought I did get an amplifier one. Oh well. Um, most, some of these I can't actually do yet. Like, we haven't encountered beacons yet, or shrines. Or, we haven't had the ability to make triple gems either. But I'll be doing those as soon as I can. The journey amulets do stuff like... Yeah, do something about epic fields. Good lord, 400 battles? Wow. Um... I've got some for spending lots of money on certain kinds of gems. These are pretty much the easiest ones to get early on, because, you know, I can just play through one of the early maps once or twice and just spend tons of money on those one type of gems, and I get it. So that's what I did just before now to get, um, I got a couple levels of doing just that, so that was nice. The challenge gems are going to be a massive bitch, so I don't even look at those yet. Oh, and if you notice... This map is really friggin' giant. So I've got, what, like a 13 by 13 grid? I'm not sure if it's all full, but, well, I have no idea how full it is. And I wanted to show you me beating all of the levels, but I'm not sure if that's a good idea, um, since it's actually fucking giant. So let's just play normally. I can't get these yet. Oh, these are for the specific types of gem. Cool. Hmm. Oh, well. Currently, I just have the ability to get... Oh, this construction one sounds... Alright. I uh, disabled my focus for some reason. Gem creating and combining monocost. Uh, that all looks good. I don't really care. Sure. Start the battle. Alright, what do we got here? Ah, traps. Yeah, we've already discussed traps, so... Great, mana gathering gem. These look like, yeah, these should be good for the trap ones. And I'll need a blood bound one to actually deal damage. So let's get that first. Stick that right in there. Oh, and I'm familiarizing myself with the keyboard shortcuts like this. So I should be a little more efficient. The keyboard shortcuts like you can hit spacebar to pause and resume so that's nice like so I can pause construct something place it and then go about the normal game instead of being a moron and you know wasting time in real game time in order to actually dick around I wonder if it's worth actually getting the upgrade no it's not wow okay just spam the cheap Mana gem thingies. Oh, and I'm a moron. I should let them go over the uh, things, not kill them. This isn't really necessary to pause, is it? Alright. Now, as they walk over these things, I should get a, a bunch of mana. Because the cool thing about these things is that they're based on not how much damage they do, just on each hit. So if I just spam hits with the mana, dam the mana damaging thingy, then I get lots of money, or, well, mana, which is money, kind of. Then with that, I can buy better stuff. 
Oh, let's get some more. Yeah. More traps. Oops. More than I. Oh, whoa. I definitely did not want f four of them. Oopsie daisies. Well, let's build another trap then. You can use shift click on most things to like enter a mode where like every click, like if I hold shift and click throw a gem bomb, then every click I make after that is assumed to be throwing a gem bomb. Or if I shift click this, then I can just click repeatedly and make multiple gems just to sort of speed up the process of whatever you're doing. Oh wow, that was over quick. Oops, don't pause. Um, um, place gems. Let's make more traps, just just because. Maybe there's an achievement for making lots of traps. I That sounds kind of familiar, but I don't know if there actually is. Maybe just imagined it. Crap. Oh, we're out of things to kill anyway. How unfortunate. Well, you made lots of traps. Don't let any, any monsters reach your org. Well, I sure as fuck did not. We killed some stuff. Very good. Oh yeah, not letting any monsters reach your orb is a very good experience bonus, so I always try and get that. The least. Hooray, we discovered a new field. Whoa. Ooh, chain hit. Chain hit sounds good. Oh, and these, by the way, make your first... Don't play these on your first round. They make it actually a lot harder. Like, it's... At least a lot longer, really. Unlocking gem types. You start with... Ah, cool. I didn't know you can unlock them. Oh, there's an unlock mod. Oh, okay. I get it. I get it. Hmm. I want to try out these chain hit thingies, though. Oh, it looks like we need to build a maze here. Build a maze. I am was never the biggest maze ability fan person. Let's just... Um... Hmm. Build that. And let's hope that works. And speed it up. It's probably not a good maze plan, but... I'll build some more towers. Yeah, this is actually pretty bad. But whatever. If you want to reshape your maze, you can use gem bombs and blow up buildings. Like, I could blow up some of these towers, give myself some more room to work. But... Uh, I was never much of one for building mazes in these. Whenever I play multiplayer uh, tower defense things, I always, well, I usually make my friends make the maze and then I worry about upgrading towers or whatever. I like multiplayer um, tower defense things. It wouldn't, at first glance, it wouldn't be the thing you would think, you know, would be a fun multiplayer, but so some games really pull that off well. Whoa. Oops, wrong button. Crap. Okay, so interesting thing I learned about how damage is dealt to your thing. Um, as long as you have enough mana, you can banish enemies that hit your core thingy. Your magic orb. And normal enemies have a really low mana... Oops. Um, shit. That was not what I intended to do. Whatever, though. It's not worth it to unbuild it. Um, yeah. Okay, I wanted to see what your banish cost is. Oh! That's actually a fairly high mana cost for a normal monster. The uh, little fast things that I always end up uh, not being able to kill, they have like, they cost like 5 mana or something pathetic to banish, so you won't notice if a few of those hit your thing. You'll just lose the uh, bonus you would get if you killed everything. Oh, and the level's already done. Hooray.
Oh, and if it seems like I'm buying unnecessary gems ever, it's because I am. Because I want those uh, achievements for buying. We're spending a certain amount of mana on gems. Because they give really nice experience bonuses. I think I'll just be able to get that. Alright. Well, that was not hard. Oh, great. I Ooh, leveled up. I think these are heading into like a maze direction. And let's try one of these other ones. Not a maze fan. Oh, these only cost one thing per point. So I think that's a better use of my money stuff. Money stuff. Alrighty. Start the battle. Alright, what are we doing here? Gem anvil. Oh. Oh! I did not realize that was a clickable thing. The gem anvil can be used for two things. A. Duplicate any of your gem. Singular. By simply dragging and releasing it over the anvil, the cost of the duplication is exactly the same as if you built the gem again via creation combination. B. Smash your gem. Drop it as a gem bomb and get some of its mana cost back. Ah. This can be very useful if you click and need more mana. You can use the D and X key. Ah. Excellent. I guess D is for duplicate. What have we got here? Armor tearing. Hmm. Well, I want to do... Tr I better get towers before traps. So, armor tearing. That sounds fun. Good times were had by all at the armor tearing place. Speed up. Okay, the speed up isn't quite sped enough in my sped up enough in my opinion. At least for some of the normal and slower creeps, they're really, really annoying. They slow. Wait, 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 wait. Need more offense. Oh whatever, I already leaked. Stupid things. And your stuff. More towers. Spam the shit out of towers. Spam the shit out of more waves. I should probably be buying better gems rather than more towers. But I don't care. Oops. I should probably care. Oh well. Okay, fuck. No, no gem traps. That was a bad idea. Come on! Hurry it up. Oh, you're on normal speed. I wish I could, like, disable that or something. If I want to be slower, I will pause it. If I don't, I won't. If I need to, I mean, if I need to micromanage it, I'll pause it. Pausing isn't technically slower. It's just not going. This is going much better, actually. That was close. Oops. Aw oh, shit. It's these fuckers. Stop living. You fuckers. Ugh. Oh, I hate them, but they their mana cost let's see what their mana cost is. Ah, cost two banish or two mana to banish, so. Ow, that kind of hurts. That kind of hurts. That kinda of... ah, I hate those little things. Alright, what are we doing here, then? I guess... I just need more shots. So I won't bother with making... I'll make more towers rather than... Ugh. More towers rather than better gems.
Hey, what am I doing? Hurry up, fuckers. Oh, right, it's in slow-mo. I probably, yeah, that wasn't a good idea. Can you, can you tell that I'm impatient yet? Oops, speaking of impatient. Okay, let's calm down. Let's calm down. Place a thing. Place another thing. Make a couple of these. But, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, that didn't quite mean to make that many at once, but whatever, we'll deal with it. We'll deal with it. Alright. Patience is a virtue I do not have. It generally is pretty important for tower defense thingies, but I don't care. See, I did just fine. Did just fine. Actually, maybe I should just save up mana for that stupid set of waves that I can't seem to kill. Actually, I suppose I should just not spawn any extra duty boppers. Stupid duty boppers and their stuff. That's more like it. It's a sound I like to hear. Sound of death. Crap. Uh oh. Kill stuff better. Kill stuff better. Okay. You're killing stuff. Okay now. Alrighty. Now we should be able to kill these guys just fine without the hordes of freaking little dudes. Can't can combine yet, can I? Whatever, I'll just buy more. Oh yeah, and you can change the target priority of. Wait, 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 wait. You don't shift when you click on a tower to randomly to change their uh, target priority. So you can have them target, I don't know, the weakest enemy, the highest cost. That's generally the boss enemies that have the highest banishment cost. Random monster structures. I'm not sure how the structures thing work, works. Let's find out actually. Structures. Does it actually hit? Will it actually hit that thing? Oh, it does attack the structures. I didn't know they could do that. That's good to know. I thought you had to gem bomb those. It looks like that is the best way to. Oh, I didn't get any amulets. It looks like that is the best way to actually go about destroying the buildings. Hooray! Oh, I didn't unlock anything. Looks like they're all dead end thingies, though. Oh well, ne 